Okay, welcome to the uh, fixing of the fan video. Um, we start the uh, the video with uh, at this stage we've tested the fan and found that the fan works, and we've decided to uh, install a speed regulator as um, a as the start and trying to to fix the problem. Okay, it's not easy to. Uh, install these um, this part of the uh, the fan so this is actually from behind and that will drop off once the uh, the old one is released so that's a, a new one okay the notch will go at the top or the three pins at the top now looking at the uh, here's the shroud so that's where this the fan sits and that's the shroud okay so you'll be able to just remove the front of it okay so I've got there's a bit of flexible region here and that will sit there and that's the driver's uh, steering wheel on the right hand side so looking at it there's a driver's steering wheel there's the footwell that's the fan connection that's where the fan sits that's the removable shroud this is where the the switch sits very difficult so we can probably see if I, if I tweak this a bit I think it's forward there it is there okay so you're going to have to get your hand through through this section here through through there and reach up and put that metal bracket on the inside there okay so I, I, I'm i just not able to film that but this no doubt will will fall off okay and on the inside that will have to pass through okay because you've got your thread on either side there okay and your screws go through there um, so there's one there's one screw for the other side and these the, there's four screws there the four screws are to hold the fan so you got one two three four that's the uh, the fan electrical connection and you can see the electrical connection there so this notched out V or upper section here you'll have to push down underneath underneath that's exposed there push down underneath and that that will get it go in there and release okay Okay, so the shroud will be on the inside, and it's these two small screws you'll have to use. So that'll you'll have to hold that on the inside. That will go. Um, it'll go through like that, pass through this hole here, and then you'll screw the screws through these holes and into the thread underneath there. Just not able to get that that angle there. Okay, so it's now installed. So if we go up, it's it's in a location of kind of like up under there, 
So he is the fan and he is the uh, regulator. Call it the speed regulator. So there it is there. We can see I've got we've got our two screws either side and the brackets on the inside. Okay, and I've passed my hand through here. I was able to bring that shroud back because of this uh, flexible section here. So it's just a small shroud from about there to there where it joins onto the fan box. So, so the fan that sticks up just about directly up there and there's the uh, the, the four holes for the uh, the screws the way I had to modify this uh, screwdriver I had to cut the top off it so that I could get in that gap and tighten up the screws on that uh, that speed regulator the speed regulator is good the old one was good the fans good so this is a problem I know now with the um, relay box it'll be one of these relays Might be a smart move to uh, take your car if you've got a similar problem with the fan not working to a uh, auto electrician and he'll soon work it out for you and you can replace the part. Okay it's the 3rd of the 3rd 2024. Um, the fan has been fixed and as well as uh, a few other things so the problem was a connector underneath the uh, fuse box it didn't seem to have anything to do with the fuse box but when when I removed the fuse box I saw a connector and it seemed to be dirty full of dirt and grease so I cleaned it up and everything's working um, just while we're here I've got the um, the relays labeled okay Okay, so what I'll do now, I'll, I'll go through a few notes and then I'll just remove this uh, um, uh, fuse box here and uh, I'll show you the connector. Okay, so I found this out this morning. Um, I had a clue when I started up the uh, car. Um, I heard the fan going at different speeds and then the fan got slower and slower and then stopped and uh, I actually found uh, a burned out fuse a 20 amp and uh, but uh, I'll talk about that after I did test by swapping out the uh, the heat and the headlight um, relays, I believe they're the same, um, but uh, that made no difference. So I thought it could be under the uh, the fuse box or around this area here. Um, but there are three different types of uh, um, uh, relays there. Um, there is one one M. 1 1M uh, relay, 3 1T relays, and 1 2M relays. Okay, I've undone the two uh, small bolts holding the fuse box, and that connector there is the connector I had to clean up, so there's there's two there, side by side, and you may be able to see possibly 
either the connector or a bit of dirt in there but that's that's the one I cleaned up I'll have a closer look at this now now that I know that the problem was here so it's directly under the, uh, the fuse box okay I'm very glad I had a closer look at this you can probably see this connector here it's full of dirt as well if we can get a closer shot of that, that's quite dirty. And the other side now. Try and get a bit of light into that and film it. It's not not as bad as I thought. But uh, yeah, without the light there you can see that that's, there is dirt in there. Okay, I'll spend a bit of time on that and uh, and then finish the video. Okay, well they're uh, they're all cleaned up. So um, I don't know what's happened here. Um, it's not a good idea to put grease in connectors. Um, it's probably not a good idea to um, spray WD forty or CRC in connectors. Um, if you've got a corrosion problem, well, maybe, um, maybe just uh, spray some degreaser in there. Um, but I'm not sure about that one. Um, it could be that because the connectors are are against the inside of the uh, the car bay there or the car body, that uh, maybe seepage goes down here and puts dirt in the connectors. I'm not sure, but. Uh, that's what my problem was so I'm going to wait for them to dry and when they dry I'll connect them and I'll, I'll go on with the video. This morning also I forgot to mention that uh, I also had a clue when as soon as I um, you know I drove the car up to about here the uh, the horn started sounding so the horn started sounding and um, that's what happened when I went to use this as a spare car when the when the Camry the Camry's down there when the Camry stopped working um, so that is to say this was a spare car and I went to drive it out for a blue slip or, or what we call here a, a roadworthy and the horns the horn wouldn't work and that led to all sorts of um, machinations I, I went and rented a car that I didn't use and all sorts of things um, so this has been plaguing me for quite a while but uh, yeah that that was the second clue that the um, that the horn wouldn't stop working and um, at the same time that the the fan did work but it slowly wound down and stopped working I suppose that's when I burnt the fuse out but uh, these connectors are very important yeah this work uh, completes a, a basic restoration on this car um, new caliper here and um, I went right under the car and tightened up everything um, new timing belt uh, battery um, alternator What's the third electric uh, electrical uh, oh, and um, starter motor? Starter motor is a fairly big uh, job if you haven't done it before. Um, and as I said, the uh, the timing belt, the um, the water pump, and uh, um, yeah, quite uh, a bit more work. But uh, I hope to get this past the half a million. Uh, kilometer line soon and uh, I'd like a bit more uh, use out of it after that okay so there it is it's all cleaned up and put back together you may be able to see them there that's the connectors there at the back so they're they're fairly exposed
Okay, well, this is a restored car. I'm pretty happy about that, so this will be registered in a few months. I'll um, I'll try and drive it for one year, and uh, if it gets through that, that's a good, reliable car, and money and time well spent. Um, yeah, so I cleaned the connector. Um, yeah, so I've got some notes here, and um, it's just that when I cleaned the uh, connector, the horn wasn't sounding. Um, I checked the fan fuse, and it had, it must have blown. Um, you know, when it uh, it sort of wound down this morning, I put the new fuse in, and uh, I've got that. So uh, yeah, so let's go through the the test. the The main issues were. Um, the uh, the hazards they weren't intermittent uh, lately I don't know what I've done to fix it but uh, they came good it seemed to be with the working of the, uh, the switch um, maybe you know in the previous life or well, the previous owner had never used them I don't know but uh, so the main issues were the, the horn sounding and the fan so to get the fan working we have to start it but there's the horn and make sure she's in neutral Okay, well, I must admit, you know, I have my wins, uh, have my winners and losers. This is definitely a win. Just goes to show if you keep on trying, you know, you can uh, you can do something that makes yourself proud, like restoring this uh, old car from 1995. It doesn't have any issues now, so it's uh, it's all good. Okay, please like and subscribe. Over and out.